All right, so we are here to talk about the uh, short SPY campaign. I put on this trade on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays for the most part. Um, I do it mechanically and I do it every week. If I do miss an entry, sometimes it's not a big deal. Doesn't mean that I am abandoning uh, this trade. Sometimes life gets in the way and I will make up for it, right? So if I don't sell something on a Monday, maybe I'll do it on a Tuesday. And then if I don't do it on a Wednesday, maybe I'll do it on a Thursday. So I uh, have a very simple plan for this trade. And this is not the only way to trade this. This is not the only right way to do it. There are many ways to do it. And I'm going to tell you exactly what my thought process um, with this trade. So selling SPY puts um, naked has obviously risk associated with the trade. What is the risk? The risk is if the underlying asset, which is SPY, goes down, you are going to accumulate losses. And if you hold this short SPY put until expiration and it expires in the money, your broker is going to assign you 100 shares for every one contract of SPY shares. And if SPY currently trading at you know, 475, you are on the hook for $47,500 that you will have to put up to hold 100 shares. Now, if you do not have the cash available, you do not want to own any shares of SPY, you do need to figure out your plan for the short puts before the day of expiration, what you're going to do with it, right? If, if the assignment is not one of the options for you, then you need to either roll these puts lower and out for more time. Maybe you just need to close them out and take a loss altogether. But this has to be determined before the day of expiration, preferably before you put on the trade. My plan is very simple. Um, I have, let's talk about the downside, right? Because everybody wants to think about the upside, the profit targets and all that good stuff that makes you feel you know, warm and fuzzy. But if you wanna be a professional um, money manager or if you want to do this as a business, not just a hobby, you want to think about risks before the rewards and make sure that you cover your butt before you take any trade. So let's talk about the risks uh, or what the plan is if things don't go uh, smooth. For me, I have two potential um, outcomes if the underlying asset goes against me. Number one, I will use a 3X credit stop loss, which will take me out of the trade if the value of the option that I'm selling is going to increase three times. So for example, if I sold something for a dollar credit, I want to buy it back and I'm going to pay 4x what I collected. That will get me into a 3x credit loss. So if I sold something for a dollar and I buy it back for $4, I have lost $3 in the process, right? I took in a dollar and I gave back four. I gave back the dollar that I collected plus three on top of that. So I'm out of pocket, three of my dollars plus the $1 that I collected. So that's why, you know, this question comes up quite often when we say something like a 3X credit loss. So do we buy it back for a three times initial credit as a, um, Stop price? No, the answer is no. If we want to take a 3x credit loss, we have to, our debit price is 4x. Our debit price to exit is 4x the initial credit in order to take a 3x credit loss. I'm going to say this one more time. If I sold something for $1 and I buy it back for 4 right? My debit is $4, four times the initial credit. I will 
in that that four dollars represent the one dollar initial credit that wasn't mine to begin with so i give back the first dollar that I collected, and then I gave $3 on top of that. Those $3 are my dollars. The first dollar that I'm giving back is not mine. That's the credit that I had collected. So in order to use a 3x credit stop loss, my debit price has to be 4x the um, original price or the uh, credit that I took in on the trade. So that's outcome number one, is I'll take a 3x loss on the trade, or if the price of SPY is low enough, right? So for example, if I sold a put that is, you know, 15% out of the money and I say, all right, if the market goes down 15% from where we are today, I'm not going to stop out of these shares, um, stop out of these contracts. I'm going to take the shares, right? So I plan beforehand to take the shares, so I'm not going to use a stop loss. I'm just going to hold um, the short put contract. And if it ends up in the money, I already knew that I'm, I'm, I would be willing to take shares at that price, which would be about a you know 15% discount from where I took the trade. And my plan for the shares is to sell out of the money or at the money um, calls to potentially get called out of that position. So I wheel myself out of that position. Maybe I'll hold it for a month. Maybe I hold it for two months. Maybe I hold it for six months and collect a couple of dividends in the process. But the game plan is if I get long SPY shares, I am going to sell calls. I, and it's very important to know your cost basis, right? If, I'm, if I sold a um, uh, 400 put, and I took in a dollar, I know, right, that my cost basis is $3.99. So if the market is at, you know, $3.70, I cannot sell a $3.75 call against my shares thinking that I'm going to get called away and I'm going to make a profit on this trade because my cost is $3.99. And if I sell a $3.75 call against my shares, I'm going to put myself in a net loss uh, position. So that's also one of those risks where, you know, if the price falls aggressively and goes way below your cost basis, you may be put in a position where you're forced to hold shares before you get to sell calls to wheel your way out of the position. I hope that makes sense and that is clear. Um, let's see. All right, let's uh, move on. So what I want to do is um, I want to show you guys how I use automation using um, Thinkorswim and um, how I use two different uh, kind of orders, one being um, just sell the out of the money put with a uh, automated um, take profit order. And the other one is going to be the same thing, sell the um, um, out of the money spy put, and then I'll have one cancel other order to either take profit or stop out of the trade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen. And um, if I am doing something wrong, or if you know a workaround, uh, with uh, Thinkorswim, you are free to let me know and maybe I can learn something new today. Let's see. Bear with me. I am going to my Thinkorswim. So now I am sharing my thinkorswim. I'm hoping that you guys could see that. All right, all good. So this is um, the thinkorswim for those that use thinkorswim and familiar. Um, we go to first, I go to the trade tab, which is located on the upper left side of the screen. 
In the trade tab, we punch in our ticker symbol, which is SPY. And then we pull up our option chains. And you can see that SPY has a ton of different expirations. And the number in the parentheses will indicate how many days until expiration this contract is. So right now, um, today is December 22nd, 2023. And I still am putting on positions in the February expiration cycle, currently at 56 days. The next um, contract that I'm going to move on to is going to be March. I like to use monthly expirations. You can see there's a lot of different weekly um, cycles, but I just go from month to month. And when the front month runs down to about 50 days or so, I move on to the next um, expiration cycle with about 80 days or so. So probably next week, I know Monday is Christmas and markets are closed, but starting next week, I'm going to probably move on to doing March. But for right now, we're going to work in the February 16th expiration cycle with 56 days until expiration. So I open the uh, Feb 16 options and I go down to a put, right? On the right side, we have puts. On the left side, we have calls. So we're working on the right side of uh, this option chain where the puts are. And I am looking for any put that is trading for somewhere between $1.30 to maybe $1.35. Does it, could it be $1.29? Yes. Could it be $1.40? Sure. Right. It, I'm, I'm not here to tell you that, you know, you if you do anything other than a dollar 30, it's going to be a bad trade. You got to do what's right for you. I have been doing um, this campaign style uh, trade. And um, on average, my credits are somewhere around a dollar 30. Sometimes they, you know, get a dollar 40. Sometimes they do a dollar 25. But on average, my average credit that I take in is about a dollar 30. So here. You know, if I go to uh, 430 put, that's going for about $1.23. Then we can go higher to about 433 put. That's trading for about $1.36. So that would be my um, initial target, right? About $1.36. If I go down one more strike, 432s are currently going for about $1.31. Either or doesn't make a difference. They both are just as great. So, you know, don't don't get hung up on is it this one or the other? It doesn't matter. Um, you also will, um, if you look at Delta, this is going to work out to be around eight Delta or so right now. So let's just let's just use 433 for uh, this exercise. And the first thing I am going to do is I am going to build out an order to sell the 433. And I am going to automatically submit an order to take profit when the short put will lose about 80% of its value, right? So I want to buy it back for 20% of original um, credit. So what I'm going to do is I go on the side where the bids are. So right now, 433 is bid 137 ask is 138. That means somebody is willing to pay 137. Somebody's willing to sell the, uh, the uh, this contract for $1.38. So we are selling, which means that we're looking for the highest bid. So I'm going to hit the bid, right? And, and the inside market is pretty tight. So we have $1.36 by $1.38. So mid price is about $1.37. But you can see that bid ask is so tight that it really doesn't make a big difference. I go with, you know, I, I could probably get away with sending a market order here as well, but I'll just take the bid. So I will right click on the bid and then I go to sell custom. And the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go sell custom and I'm going to select with stop. However, I'm not using a stop. I'm going to change this around to make my... Um, Instead of stop, I'm going to make a, a limit order, which is going to be my take profit order. So here you can see that in this order ticket, I have two lines, right? So the first one is sell one, right? This is sell to open, spy, February 16, 433 put, 
we're going to specify the price, right? Right now, this put is going for $1.36 bid. So that's the price, $1.36. If I wanted to do market, I'll just change from limit to market. And I'm probably going to get filled at about $1.36 anyways. I could use a limit. It's going to be a day order, right? And now the second line is going to be my take profit order that's going to get submitted at the same time with my sell to open. The second line here is going to be a buy one, right? Same quantity as what we're selling. So it's going to be buy one, spy Feb 16, 433 put. Instead of stop, I'm going to use limit order. I'm going to change, right? I don't want this buy to close to be linked necessarily to this order. I want it to be triggered by this sell to open order okay so changing here whatever this little marker means it's not linked it's going to be um it's going to change to um trigger so this order is going to be triggered by the um, sell to open it's going to be a gtc and now i'm going to try to input right where do i want to buy to close. Remember my goal or my take profit here is when this original credit, which is now at about $1.38, when this put loses about 80% of its value, I want to be closing out this trade. So by changing this marker here for plus minus to a percent sign, and then specifying here, Right, I'm going to highlight, delete everything, and I'm going to put minus 80%. I hope you can see that. What this is going to do is, in other words, I'm going to sell to open one SPY put here for $1.39. And when this order gets filled, that's going to trigger the second order, which is going to be buy to close SPY 433 put at minus 80% of this price or whatever the fill price is, right? So we don't know where we're going to get filled. So that's why instead of putting some dollars or, or a, a dollar uh, figure here, I put percent sign here, right? I changed this marker to percent. So, and it's minus 80. So when the first order gets filled, it's going to trigger, right? And you can see that uh, this advanced order is first triggers all. So all, I mean, you only have only one other order here, but you can, you know, build um, a little more complicated orders by adding more orders um, to this um, order ticket. But here it's very simple. You sell to open one and whatever the price is, this order gets triggered and we're going to buy to close at minus 80% of whatever the price for this uh, sell to open uh, order was. And I hope you can see this. So if I click on confirm and send, right, this is how you read this. You have sell one spy 433 put it for $1.42, and that's to open. And then once this gets filled, it's going to trigger a buy to close the same exact option at whatever trigger price was minus 80%, and that's a limit price, and it's a GTC, and this order is triggered by number one, number one being the sell to open, and it's to close. Okay, you hit submit, send, and once, again, sell to open gets filled, buy to close is going to um, be triggered, and the price is going to be determined based on your fill, of the cell to open. Now you can do this every single time. If you are a campaign trader like myself, if you do it once a week, three times a week, or every day, it doesn't matter, right? Instead of building all of this out and changing things one by one, you can automate this process. And by automate, what I mean is you can set, uh, you can save this order ticket or order template. And uh, to save it, you just right click. And then you go, I, I try to, again, if you guys know workaround, it would be great for your input here. I don't know any other way other than um, go to share 
or a template. And I'm going to share this after we're done with this uh, Zoom. I'm going to share this uh, with the group so that if, and I'm going to show you how to import this into your um, Thinkorswim so that you don't have to build this out yourself. Or if you want to build this out and, and, and customize this to any way you see fit, because let's remember, right? So if you're doing more than one, let's say you're doing five puts at a time or you're doing three or two or whatever that number is, or if let's say your take profit is not 80%, but maybe you're going for 50%, whatever that number is or whatever, you know, you can change things. Um, that's, that's what you would have to do. You can take the, you can set up the template any way you want. So like if you do five contracts at all times, then you just change this to five, right? Change this to whatever. And then you go and you right click and you go, share order template and it's always going to remain on five contracts once you open the order template i'm going to keep this at one just to keep it simple but then if you are going to use this uh, order template you just have to keep in mind that you do have to change quantities and to change prices to however you want to work this order so let's go ahead and um, share this order template um, we're going to call this one Um, sell SPY out of the money put with 80% profit target. I'm going to hit share, right? This is going to give me that uh, thinkorswim share link, and I'll show you where to find it. Hang on one second. So now if you wanted to find this link, you go to your tools, All right? This is what I just shared. Sell spy out of the money put with 80% profit target. Um, if you, so, or this is going to be the link, right? I'm gonna share with you the link here, guys. And if you got the link, this is what you do in order to import this into your thinkorswim, right? Uh, I'm going to copy this link. So let's assume I, I share this link here, this HTTP TOS.MX, blah, 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 right? You, you highlight and you right click and you copy this link. Then you go to, you go to your Thinkorswim, you go to setup and open shared item. You paste this or you go control V on your keyboard. You hit preview. It's going to load that link that I that I will share with you guys. And then you can you can rename it here, call it whatever you want. Right. I'm gonna leave it at cell spy OTM, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm gonna hit import. And now this order template is in my thinkorswim and I'll show you where to find it. Let's say you go ahead and you want to put on a new trade. Right. We don't have anything here. So you go to whatever expiration you're looking for you go and you find it see like the market is moving a little bit right now so we can go and say all right you know what let's go instead of 433 let's do uh, 431 again you right click on the bid and then you go to sell custom and then this order template is going to show up here you click on that it's going to bring up the order ticket and this is exactly what we just built right we have the uh, sell to open See, 431, this is what we chose. The price is what the bid is right now. And that's our limit price. And this is a day order, right? I wouldn't do a GTC to open because if the market is moving away from me, instead of sitting there for you know a day or two days, three days waiting for this order to fill, you know, if, if you don't get a fill within you know the first 10, 20, 30 minutes and the market is moving away from you, just cancel and 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 select the strike a little bit higher if you need to get filled the same day. So, and this order ticket automatically has a buy to close, whatever the trigger price is minus 80%, and that's a GTC to close the order. You hit confirm and send, it's gonna ask you to verify. You look at it and you hit send. And then once the sell to open gets filled, your buy to close is going to hang out there, GTC limit, for whatever your fill is minus 80%. So you will end up um, buying to close at 20% of your fill price. Usually when I put my orders out there for about a dollar, 
And you could look at uh, on Discord in the uh, channel where I post my trades. You can see that when I usually get filled for about a dollar or thirty five or so, my um, buy to close order automatically goes out at um, about twenty five, twenty six, sometimes twenty seven cents. So if you if you just do simple math, one thirty five times point two, right? That GTC to close buy to close is going to be at twenty seven cents. And it's going to hang out there until it gets filled. Or if um, this contract expires, your order is going to be canceled by your broker. Let me see if you guys have questions here. Um, hang on one second. I can't select GTC, Mark says. Um, not sure why you can you should be able to you can click the icon next to delete you can click the um you can click on the button to the left of the delete button oh got it oh that's okay um i guess this this will be it Um, this will be the button to, let's see, what does it do? Oh, pretty cool. Save custom order template. That's awesome. So you don't even have to go and, 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 and share. You just, uh, thank you. For, who, uh, Jerry, thank you for pointing this out. See, I learned something new today. So instead of going through that whole complicated process of, um, sharing and then importing, um, I'm not sure if you if you if you save the scutter custom order template, you probably don't have to import. Um, it'll just automatically show up. And we're gonna we're gonna do this. I'm gonna show you one more um, order template that I'm going to build, and we're gonna try to save it the way Jerry just shared with us. And we'll see how that works out. But this is awesome, man. Thank you so much for sharing this. You just gotta uh, make sure. Igor. Yeah. If it's, it's the same process, yes. You click this button and it will create and save the template directly. You, you avoid having to create a link to share it with yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah. This is the way to do it. What you I were doing it. is if you want to share your yeah. template with someone else, right? Uh, this is the way to do it. Makes sense. Perfect. So, no um, and guys, for those that, you know, I, I know that uh, sometimes um, we do like to share things with uh, others and, um, Sometimes members share things with other members. And um, if you didn't know how to do it, this is the way to do it. But if you wanted just to build uh, an order template for yourself and save it on your computer without having to go through the process of sharing and importing, uh, as Jerry pointed out, just uh, hit um, this um, save uh, custom order template to the left of the delete button. And that's going to save this order um, ticket to your computer uh, on your local machine. and you're going to be all set to go. Um, let's see. Can you show how we add the stop loss and the, yes, I'm going to show how we do the stop loss next. Um, you, okay. This is what Jerry said. Uh, can this be done with tasty as one step? I'm not sure if tasty gives you the ability to build out. Um, maybe they do. Um, Advanced orders. Anybody use Tasty that know if um, you can use advanced orders such as take profit um, or and stop loss at the same time? If you do, uh, they're called bracket orders. So Jerry says, yes, they're bracket orders. Uh, we'll look into that and maybe we'll uh, um, look at it at, at another time. Yeah, uh, future options. Um, Tasty Trade does not have, um, I guess, brackets, or they definitely don't have stops. So that that kind of sucks. They're, uh, they, they're saying they're going to make it available in January. Uh, okay, awesome. Hopefully it's January 2024. Um, all right, let's uh, move on and let's talk about, so I'm going to um, delete this. And um, for those of you guys that, so the reason why I am sharing this, right, and I'm gonna copy, 
I'm going to post this in the chat. Where, where is my chat? Uh, order ticket for open and take profit at 80%. There you go. So I just posted the uh, that short link or that um, link to uh, Thinkorswim. And you can highlight or right click on it and save it. Don't click on it and expect it you know, to, to import into your system. That is not how it works. Um, you highlight, copy this link, and then you go to setup, import, um, shared item, and um, you will be able to um, import this into your computer if you don't want to build out your own um, custom order ticket. So let's go on and let's move on to, again, everything has to be from the trade tab. Let's keep on looking at, maybe we'll go to uh, 430 put, right? It's currently going for $1.35. So we say, all right, this is perfect. Oops. We're gonna right click on the bid column and then we're gonna go to sell custom. And as you can see, we already have this um, order with the uh, take profit. And now we want to build an, an, uh, an advanced order that's gonna have a take profit as well as a stop loss, okay? So we're gonna to go to sell custom and with OCO bracket. And this thing has three lines, right? The first one, this is very similar to what we had with um, the first thing we did, right? First one had two lines. We had the sell to open and buy to close. This one has sell to open, right? We go and we look at, okay, sell to open, Feb 16, 430 put, dollar thirty-five, dollar, you know, whatever the bid price is. And that's a limit day order. That's perfect. And now we're going to unlink these two. So these are unlinked and we're going to change, right? They're going, so they're not linked to this order, but they are triggered. Here we go, right? You can see that it says uh, TRG stands for trigger. So these orders are triggered and they're triggered by the first order. And you can see that advanced order here is first triggers OCO. So this first order, which is sell to open is going to trigger OCO. OCO means um, one cancels other. So it's going to be either this one here, buy to close, or this one. They can both get filled at the same time. It's going to be one or the other. And whenever either one of these two gets filled, the other one gets canceled. So either we're going to hit our profit target or we're going to hit our stop loss. If we hit our profit target first, stop loss gets canceled. If we get hit on our stop, our profit target gets canceled. Okay, so you're not going to end up with um, orders hanging out there, um, getting filled, after um, you getting stopped out. So you don't have to worry about that. All we have to do now is change again to the percentages because we're going to work at a certain percent of the fill price, right? We don't know where we're going to get filled. So I can not say, all right, I'm going to try to hit or I'm going to try to um, take profit at 27 cents. What, why, why 27 cents? Why not 26, right? I don't know what my fill price is going to be. So what I can do is I can use percent and I'm gonna use uh, my profit target is gonna be at minus 80%, All right? So what this means is that whatever my fill price is, my buy to close limit, that's my profit target, minus 80% of the fill price, whatever that fill price is. If it's $1.30, then it's gonna be at 20% of $1.30 or th uh, this order is gonna go in at about 26 cents. And now, so that's my take profit minus 80%. And my stop, right? You can see this one is limit. The second one is stop. And my stop is going to be at plus plus 300%. So now, Right. And these are going to be GTC orders. And we're going to try to read and translate this into plain English. So what this advanced order is now, 
It's a sell to open, 430 put for whatever price. It's a day order. And this sell to open is going to trigger two GTC orders, which are going to be one cancel other, meaning one is going to cancel the other whenever the either or uh, one of them gets filled. And the orders that are getting triggered are buy to close at minus 80% of the fill price or buy to close at plus 300% of the fill price, right? So what that means is that either we going to get out at a price that is 80% lower than the fill price, or we're getting out if the price that gets filled to, 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 to open this trade increases by 300%. That's a 3x stop. Right, and if we hit confirm, we can see that we're going to sell to open 430 put for a dollar 30, and that's to open. And then this order is going to send two orders that are going to be OCO, and that's going to be um, at trigger minus 80%, or my stop is at trigger plus 300%. So that's again, either I'm closing at a 80% of max credit, that's my profit target, or I'm buying it to close when um, the value of the put that I'm selling increases by um, three times. We hit send and that order gets sent. So now what we're going to do is, as Jerry mentioned, uh, we're going to press, oops, we're going to hit save custom order template and we're going to call this Let's call this cell SPY OTM, right? Order out of the money, put comma or with 80% PT or 300 or let's do 3X SL, which stands for stop loss. So we sell spy out of the money put with 80% profit target or 3x stop loss. And we're going to save. And now I'm going to save this also. I'm going to share this and I'm going to um, um, send it to you guys. I'm going to post um, the, um, uh, the link so that if you wanted to import this, you can if you don't want to build this out by yourself. So this one is a cell SPY OTM put with 80% PT or 3X SL. I'm gonna share this, All right? Here's that link. I'm gonna go grab that link and I'm gonna paste it. This is, the, this is what I just created. I'm gonna copy this link. And then I'm going to uh, put it in the chat. This is the order to close at 80% PT or 3X SL. And this is the link. So I just pasted this link in the chat, guys. If you want to grab that and save it somewhere, you can um import and, and and work with it later and then you know as jerry pointed out actually it's a really really good idea to um you know you customize this however you want and then you just go save save it to whatever you know you want to call it and um this trade is now yours so let's let me just delete this and now let's see let's let's see if what we saved Right. Let's assume that you know now the market is moving up a little bit. So as prices are starting to shift, let's say we move on to 432 because 430 wasn't filling for a dollar um, 35 that we originally wanted. So now dollar 35 is at the 432 strike. We're going to right click on that, sell custom. Sorry about that. Sell custom, and there you are. Right. This is what we saved. It brings up the order. We just have to change the number of contracts, change if we don't want to do 80%, maybe we want to do 70 or 50 or whatever works best for you. Same thing with a stop loss. Maybe you only want to give up you know, 2x credit as your stop. 
change that, confirm, send, done. Okay. I think that's pretty straightforward and pretty easy. Again, the so with the stop, right? If you have no intention ever of taking the shares, then you use the order that we built with a stop. If you want to just, you know, sell the spy put, you want to have a um, GTC take profit order hanging out there and you're going to decide whether you want to stop out or take shares at a later time, then you can use the first order that we built out and do it that way. And um, I think that's, Pretty much it, guys. If you have anything else, um, we can look at that. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and enter my orders um, for the uh, short spy. And um, we're going to uh, post whatever the fill price is in the um, uh, trade alert channel on Discord.